So my name is Pooja Chandrasekhar, and I am a senior at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology, and I'm also the founder and CEO of Project CS Girls. So I'll be talking about why the tech gender gap exists and what we can do about it. So close your eyes and think of a computer scientist. Chances are what you're thinking of looks a lot like this. And these are the images that popped up in Google Images when I Googled it yesterday. So it's images like these that perpetuate the stereotype. The stereotype of a nerdy guy sitting alone in a cold basement coding away. And it's stereotypes like these that turn our young girls away. And it doesn't help that the environment that girls are brought up in is no better. So here you can see the historic Goldie Blocks um, advertisement in the Super Bowl. And it shows that in a lot of department stores, the toys for girls are filled with pink, sparkly toys instead of do-it-yourself kits or engineering toys. So now, why am I interested in this? Well, I go to a STEM high school. I've also worked at a tech company, and I've been to a lot of conferences and hackathons. And at each of these, I only see a few girls in the crowd. And it was my mission to bring more girls into this. So which brings me to, how do we fix this? And the word fix is in quotes because there's no real solution to this right now. What we can do is start from our homes, from our schools, and our companies, and really take a step forward and make an active effort. One of the best things we can do is give girls female role models, women like Sheryl Sandberg, Marissa Myers, and Jocelyn Goldfein. Giving girls these role models gives them somebody to look up to, and it gives them confidence, and it builds empowerment. A lot of girls also turn away from computer science because they think it doesn't help others. They think it's not applicable. And again, this is what we need to emphasize. We need to emphasize how applicable it is, how it connects people, and how it helps people. We also need to bring a much stronger focus on diversity and inclusion. Companies like Google and Twitter are taking a step in the right direction by releasing diversity tech sets. And we need to really emphasize this in each of our companies and our support groups. We also need to support women-led and driven organizations. Organizations like these, these are all organizations that I work directly with. And we need to give them support, we need to expand their resources, and really bring that into the corporate world. Also, when we're doing this, we need to keep in mind that it's important to start early, in the middle and high school years, even in elementary years. That's when we really need to teach girls that they can do this, that they can be good at this, and it's something for them. We also need to show them that this is not something dry and unuseful by bringing this into innovation. Teach them to think out of the box, take risks, be entrepreneurial, and that's so important to building them. So take my work as an example. So I founded a national nonprofit organization called Project CS Girls last summer. So what we do is we run a national competition for middle school girls where they're encouraged to build, code, or prototype solutions to social problems. Why did I pick middle school? Well, middle school is a time when girls are really starting to figure out, well, not girls, all students, really, are trying to figure out who they are going to be, and they're really susceptible to peer pressure during that time. So that's why we're focusing on it. And why a national competition? Well, two reasons. First, social impact, and second, empowerment. We, we're not only teaching them that their work can have a direct impact on the society, but also building their confidence through empowerment. We also host workshops around the country. All of these, mobile app dev, code game programming, robotics, Java, HTML. And what we do is not only teach them about these things, but also give them space to explore. And we'll be inviting the winners of our competition to DC in June, where they'll have the chance to tour tech companies, listen to guest speakers, and participate in workshops. So this is really going to be a celebration of them. And now I'd just like to bring it back to the fact that this is not a one-person job. I can't fix this alone. You as an individual can't fix this alone. But we need to collaborate and share resources. And Together, we can cross this long road that's ahead of us to fix the gender gap. And a lot of you are men, and so what role can you play? Well, you can advocate, support, and also keep one eye open. If you think that women in your com uh, company are not being supported or there's not enough of a focus on diversity, speak out about that. And with that, I'd like to conclude my presentation. 
And here are ways you can contact me. And please feel free to reach out if your company would like to get involved in Project CS Girls or if you'd just like to talk. Thank you.